Managing cyber crimes as dealerships across the state manage the fallout from a massive cyber attack. Hear from a state cyber security expert on how to keep yourself safe online. Hello and welcome to Empire State Weekly. I'm Jamie DeLine in Albany. A software company used by many car dealerships is regaining operations this week after a cyber attack caused the outage of the company's vital systems. CDK Global, a data provider whose software is used by car dealerships to handle important transactions, was hit by two cyber attacks in two days, beginning on June 19th. That caused the company to shut down most of its systems, which left some 15,000 dealerships to use pen and paper to do transactions and repair orders. One dealership owner describes the process of selling cars was impacted but not ultimately stopped by the hack. The process takes a little bit longer. You know, when they come to the window, everything's calculated by hand, so it takes a minute for the customer to get, to get cashed out. We have other systems in place to work around our DMS system, so we can still sell cars. Despite that, optimism forecasting from J.D. Power and Global Data suggests that car sales around the U.S. will be down 5% from where they were at this time last year. Joining us now to give additional insight on the state's response to cyber crimes is Mike Ajovlacidis. He's the Deputy Chief Information Security Officer for the state. It's so great to have you on. Thank you for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. So what goes into protecting New York State from cyber crimes? You know, it's a really big job. Uh, the state has a massive infrastructure, thousands of applications, and the data of all the New Yorkers. So uh, it's a it's a important job and we take it very seriously. Um, luckily, there's a, a lot of talented professionals that help us to secure it, but it's, it's a 24-7, 365, something's always happening. And what kind of um, things do you see? Are there like malware attacks that people try to, you know, get into the state information with? Like, how does that work? Sure. Yeah. I mean, when you're as large and as public as New York State, uh, somebody's always probing, attempting, so phishing attacks, malware attacks, knocking on the door, trying to jiggle that, uh, that door knob and see if it's unlocked. So um, at all times, we are under some sort of attack or probe. Luckily, most of them are not successful, but you have to be ready in case they are. And can you talk about the difference between a phishing email and malware, and how do you spot them? Sure. Yeah, so, you know, malware is, you know, uh, a file or a program that's going to try to do something malicious to your computer. Maybe it's ransomware, which is very popular today. Um, that usually happens if you're browsing on the web and run a file or download something you shouldn't have. Phishing, however, comes in through your email, and it's usually uh, a, an attempt to steal your information, maybe your username and password. Word. Then they would uh, bad guys would leverage that to maybe access a bank account or get into your social media and, and start to pivot their way through. So you know each one is a little bit different. There's some tools that protect against one. For phishing, you really have to the the individual needs to pay attention. And if it doesn't look quite right, if something is misspelled or doesn't seem right, you know don't click. Take that minute and pay attention. And it's often in like the HTTP, right? Like the top link some of that yeah uh, you know in a phishing email they're getting pretty clever they try to replicate uh, a legitimate site um, but you know you have to take the time look at that link before you click it make sure it's really going to say uh, a Google or a Microsoft and not some other random website uh, you know taking that time and not feeling rushed to uh, to click and move forward is a, a great defense and I know you guys help other agencies too, right? Not just we do. New York State buildings. Sure, yeah. Here at ITS, we cover the 53 of the executive agencies. But um, when something happens in the state, uh, all the teams, you know, ourselves at ITS, uh, we have uh, other cyber teams at the Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services. We pitch in, we'll engage with law enforcement or, or the FBI here in Albany to do whatever's necessary to help them recover. And I know across the country there was the hack that happened with car dealerships and their software. Back in April, there was the attack on bill drafting at the state capitol that kind of held things up a little bit. Can you talk about that specific instance at the capitol and were you guys involved in any way to try to help what was happening? 
Yeah, yeah, certainly we were, right? When, when a major ha incident happens in the state, all the teams get together um, and, and pitch in. So we, we did help out with them, uh, help them recover along with some of our other partners. You know, the specifics, we don't talk about all that often, but uh, you know, because of, especially at that time, at uh, April for the budget, it's time to you know, make sure they're able to continue their mission. Were you able to talk about a little bit what happened exactly, or is a lot of that under wraps still? Yeah, that's probably under wraps, not for me to discuss. Is there anything else that you think people in New York State need to know when it comes to protecting themselves online? Yeah, you know, um, Password management, uh, using unique passwords, don't reuse them at the same sites uh, or at multiple different sites, and multi-factor authentication. Uh, that's probably the single biggest thing they can do because it really uh, helps protect that bad guy. Even if you do get your password compromised, that multi-factor will keep them from accessing your account. So uh, certainly on your bank accounts, but everywhere you can implement multi-factor. Do you have any other advice that you would like to share? Yeah, you know, pay attention, right? Try to pay attention. If something doesn't seem right, take a minute, don't click on it, and watch your accounts. Um, you know, social media and bank accounts, they often will tell you when your last login was, where it came from. You know, paying attention to your own accounts is one of your best defenses because if you notice something that doesn't seem right, the sooner you act on it, the better off you'll be. We're going to have to leave it right there, but thank you so much. All Thanks right. for all Thanks your expertise. Much. We appreciate it. Thank you. Election season is underway with races here in New York State taking shape after the recent primary elections. When we return, hear from a political expert on how New York State races will impact the national balance of power and how the race for president will impact New York races. If you have a comment or story idea, let us know. You can email us at news at news10.com. You can also reach out on X, formerly known as Twitter, at WTEN.